great living down here, but it also takes a certain person. Can I just ask you a question? Do your buyers know that you're too busy to present this offer? Right now, I'm extremely unimpressed with this realtor. Generally, people that are in the oil and gas industry, they're people that uh, don't have a lot of time and don't want to be mowing their lawns, that want to have the lifestyle where they can just walk to work. We have a games room, we have a pool, a hot tub, and the weight rooms. Living in a condominium, it's really nice. You don't have to shovel the walk, you don't have to cut the grass. So we found this note under our door asking if we want to sell for a million dollars. And that really got us thinking. My work is slowing down. By having that financial freedom, I will be able to move into a house, which is what Deborah really wanted to be in as a house for a long time. They're looking at a potential profit of $700,000 after just four years of ownership. But still, they'll have a tough time leaving this luxurious and convenient home. It's nice to work here and look out and see where all these people who have to come to work, and I'm already there. The open concept main room includes a kitchen with brand new appliances and a giant curved wall studded with windows to take in the view. In order to get their ambitious asking price, Thomas has hired interior decorator Carrie. It is a bit of a challenge to put a look together with opposite ends. <laughs> got black. Would there be a problem changing that out to stainless steel? Carrie's got to get the place done up nice enough that hopefully we can emotionally invoke a buyer to pay a new price range that's never been sold before. With a budget of $40,000 and only three weeks, Carrie will have her hands full. The hardwood floor arrives in three days. Probably you guys were supposed to do this, but they're squeezing us in between another job and the other job is going uh, later than expected. Um, so we're gonna do it ourselves. The Saturday we just moved things out and I get a phone call and they want to do a showing and we can't show right now because the place is a total mess. We got an offer on the property two hours ago. Talk about shock. <laughs> Excitement. But three days later the same buyer's back with a new offer. I've requested that she brings her offer in personally. She did not listen. She faxed it. I phoned her about three times. She hasn't called me back. Right now, I'm extremely unimpressed with this realtor. She's totally unprofessional. What's this offer like now? The offer price is 970000 With the new offer, the potential buyers have also waived the condition about selling their home first and promised to include a deposit. But the check so far hasn't appeared. Is it possible for you to come and present the offer? Uh, not tonight, no. I'm running around taking care of a whole bunch of stuff that I can't really get out of. Okay. Can I just ask you a question? Do your buyers know that you're too busy to present this offer? Because there's a good chance that my folks will write on here rejected because this offer was not delivered to us in person. There. Congratulations, oh, guys. Thank you. The buyer's financing went through, and the final sale price is $975,000, making John and Deb a hefty profit. Selling this place was perfect. It was perfectly planned and executed. Marketing costs went over budget a little bit. We're, we're in the $14,000 plus. But I made money on them buying another place. Since 1959, Mum's lived in this house. Well, they figure all the wallpaper should come down. No, not in your painted. life. I have my reservations with my mother's chosen realtor. This house is worth more than that. After the loss of her husband, Jack, Peggy is selling the family home and dividing the profits between her four children. Despite being on a beautiful park, agents Lauren and Yolanda know it will take more to sell a home that's been well lived in for 47 years. All wallpaper leaves in the whole place. The whole The thing? whole place. On the right side of the large living room, a hallway leads to three outdated and patterned bedrooms. This is the master bedroom. How many bedrooms have a view of a park like this? It's wonderful. We've got the bathroom here. It's pink. Yeah, it's pink. Wow. Well, what would you do? wallpaper. Did your dad have shares in a wallpaper company? Or? <laughs> My parents wow. thought wallpaper was the way wow. to go. In an attempt to salvage their family home, they agree to do some cosmetic fix-ups, but no major renovations. Our list is peel the wallpaper in the breakfast room, the hall and the dining room, fix the steps, finish the skylight, clean the carpets, declutter and have an open house. The open house yields no offers, and two days later, 
Peggy finally moves out. Since 1959, Mum's lived in this house, and now we get to move her up the hill. I think I'm the one that has the hardest time. There's too many memories and things that aren't going to change unless I change my locale. We left her bedroom completely as it was last night. We even left all the stuff on the dressers um, so that her last night was just the way it should be. Um, I can't stay by myself in a great big place like this. So it's time to make the move, and I'm sure it's the right thing to do. So here we go. <laughs> She's getting up there, but she still just <laughs> keeps on clipping along, and I think she's going to be all right up there. Mum has some very nice ladies waiting for her arrival. Finally, you're here. Oh, oh, to my finally. home, and it's going to be our home. Oh, I think it's yes, going to be you're going to love it here, kid. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the $725,000 offer is $165,000 lower than their current asking price. So let's have a look at this. Uh, basically, they're saying we're going to buy this land for seven twenty-five. Mm -hmm. What if we met them in the middle? Seven seventy-five. Go with seven seventy-five and see what they say. See what they say. Okay. You all right with that? Sure. They counter back at seven hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. The offer, actually, it's not anywhere near what we really thought we'd get in the beginning, but I think the offer is pretty fair for the way the market is. Your deal has not fallen apart. So here's the number. They've come back with seven fifty, which is pretty good. That's what yeah. they've come back with, is seven fifty. dollars I mean, there's not very many days when you see $750,000 on the table. What did we offer them first? They offered seven twenty-five. dollars Yeah. We countered at seven seventy-five. dollars they've, they've come back, back at seven fifty. dollars All right, let's go for it. The final sale price is $750,000, $375,000 below what they were asking just three days ago, and the home sold in less than two weeks. Yeah, well, my mother phoned me on the day that it sold, and uh, I was quite surprised at uh, how well Yolanda had used her negotiating skills to negotiate us down to peanuts. Everybody wants as much as they can get. Maybe we've got as much as we can get. It's not easy to walk out on a place he'd been in it for 47 years, and suddenly it's gone, you know? No, I, it's not gone, because it's all here, and it's all here. It's been a very rough year. The most important thing to me is that my mother's happy and healthy. I feel as though it's my home, but all the things that made it so much that it was are all gone now, so in time, I imagine I'll just, it'll just be another building. <laughs>